How's it going, everyone? The PlayStation Store is running its excellent fall savings sale right now. A ton of great deals, and we're going to be highlighting some of those deals under the price of $9.99. I should say under the price of $10. Literally only scratching the surface. I know that I usually say that in uh, these under videos of these bigger sales, but like, no, seriously, barely scratching the surface as far as all the deals are available. There's an absurd number of deals and high quality deals under $10, so... Without further ado, let's get right into it. Got 12 deals to go over in this video. Probably going to do a part two, so be on the lookout for that. But right off the top, Yakuza Like a Dragon, 50% off for $9.99. Here we go. It's time for some RGG shilling. Okay, so when it comes to Yakuza and the RGG franchise uh, and their games, I usually recommend two games as good starting points. Either Judgment or Yakuza 0. However... If you want to jump right into Yakuza Like a Dragon, that is fine. And I know that might be a little bit of a stretch to some of you guys, but this is the first game starring Ichiban and his story arc. Does it have callbacks to other games and will it benefit you if you play the other games? Yes, but you could play this game and it's still a complete standalone story without playing the other titles. And with uh, Like a Dragon... You should certainly play this game before uh, Infinite Love, which is the game that came out earlier this year. The game is an awesome turn-based JRPG. Ichiban is a phenomenal character, one of the best characters in all of gaming right now, in my opinion. For $9.99, this is just a tremendous deal. No-brainer, super, super lengthy as well, so definitely check that out. Next up, we have Control Ultimate Edition, 80% off for $7.99. Great price for Control, a game that I really, really enjoyed I think it's a great game with a solid main character, great visuals, great gameplay. Narratively, it can be a little bit confusing, but uh, that's Remedy for you. Like, that does happen, and uh, these things happen when it comes to Remedy titles. But, uh, yeah, definitely a great title, and for $7.99, good pickup there. Next up, Wolf Among Us, 50% off for $7.49. Absolutely loved Wolf Among Us. As far as the Telltale titles go, Wolf Among Us and Walking Dead Season 1 are 1A, 1B in terms of quality. Hopefully in this lifetime, we do get the release of Wolf Among Us 2. Seems like we've been waiting for Season 2 for a long time, given that Wolf Among Us 1 started in 2013 and it is now 2024 actually recently the 11 year mark for wolf among us is original release just passed yes it's been 11 years since wolf among us came out that is insane to think about but the game itself is great 749 is a little bit pricier than i'd like like if we can get this down to like the 499 range i think that would be a great pickup but it has surprisingly held up in price so you know, do what you want with that, and uh, 749 again, great price on that. Certainly do recommend it, just a great pickup. Next up, no-brainer here, Mass Effect Legendary Edition is 85% off for $8.99. I picked up this collection right when it came out for $60, and you know what? I will pay $60 again, because this is legitimately one of the greatest gaming trilogies of all time, and, you know, it's a little bit uh, of a... It's, it's a little bit of a bummer, I, uh, I should say, like, going back and playing this trilogy, because... Let's just be real. We were getting games like this every two years from Bioware. Oh, and by the way, in between Mass Effect 1 and 2, we got the release of Dragon Age Origins, and it's just a reflection of how absolutely washed Bioware as a studio now is. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. These things happen. Bioware, Rocksteady, Naughty Dog, throw them all in there because I think they're all washed, but, uh... You know, hopefully they can all pick up with some great releases, but Mass Effect Legendary Edition for $8.99 think it's a great pickup and they do what they can like mass effect one obviously does show its age that era of games from 2007 uncharted one witcher one mass effect one all show their age if you go back and play them um but mass effect one is still a very very good game and mass effect two legitimately one of the greatest games of all time and mass effect three is really good outside of the ending that i know will infuriate people but Still a worthwhile game to go through. Next up, we got the Metro Saga Bundle, 85% off for $8.99. You got Metro 2033, Metro Last Light, and Metro Exodus, the Gold Edition, and the Redux versions of 2033 and Last Light. A great set of Metro games, atmospheric first-person shooters, great visuals. Even with Metro 2033, which at this point is like 14 years old, I want to say it came out back in 2010, obviously updated with the Redux version, but uh, yeah, I loved Last Light, that was my favorite. Exodus was really good, it's just a little bit of a shift from the first two games, and I did enjoy the first two games more, and a lot of people are gonna uh, dig Exodus more. Exodus is the Gold Edition, upgraded on PS5, looks great on there, has the DLC, all that good stuff for $8.99. The Metro Saga Bundle is a great pickup. Next up, Mafia Definitive Edition is 80% off for $7.99. Now, 
If you don't have any of the Mafia games, I would highly recommend you to check out the Mafia Trilogy. It is on sale for $14.99. That'll get you Mafia 1, 2, and 3, and I think that is a fantastic deal given that each game would be $4.99 a pop uh, but if you're just looking for one of those games obviously start off with Mafia Definitive Edition it is a ground up remake of Mafia 1 and it's fairly well done visually it looks great the gameplay is still it's perfectly serviceable third person you know cover shooter it's fine it's just not blow away but you're getting into this game for the narrative and the characters and all that, and that's done really well. Also, in an age and an era where a lot of games are 40, 50, 70 hours long, I'm, I'm definitely going to be sinking that much time into Metaphor, which just came out, but sometimes it's nice to have a game that's seven to eight hours long, tells a compact story, and does it fairly well. Um, not every game needs to be like Mafia, but when Mafia comes around, something like this is worthwhile. I think for $8, it's a great pickup. Next up, Detroit Become Human, 50% off for $9.99. Detroit Become Human is an absolutely awesome narrative-driven title. Uh, Quantic Dreams just announced that this game cracked 10 million copies sold on PlayStation and PC, which is a staggering number of units for a game that you know, I really enjoyed, but I feel like it didn't resonate at that level when it initially came out, I want to say back in 2019. Uh, but well done game, visually is great, and I feel like this narrative will really click with people today. This futuristic setting, and uh, really well done in terms of character interactions and character development. $9.99, great price on that. Next up, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, 75% off for $9.99. Now this used to go a little bit cheaper, it would get down to like $5, $4.00 hasn't gone down that low in price in quite a while so i'm just gonna recommend it at 9.99 obviously if you guys watch our channel you know how much i love the star wars games uh the star wars jedi games i should say uh jedi fallen order is great you've got a great main character in cal Kestis, and seeing his development from jedi fallen order into jedi survivor and ultimately into the third game has been great to see uh, you know as far as fallen order and survivor goes we don't know anything about the third game outside of it's in development but fallen order is great combat's great ps5 upgrade is there the only thing that i am critical about is the absolute garbage map that is in this game the map is absolutely atrocious uh and i don't mean map design i mean the actual map that tells you where to go it's horrendous horrific i, I cannot use the superlative to describe how terrible it is but uh the game itself is great 9.99 is a good pickup certainly would recommend that Next up, Final Fantasy X and X2 HD Remaster, 60% off for $9.99. You got Final Fantasy X, you got Final Fantasy X and X2, uh, I should say. FF10 is one of the most iconic JRPGs of all time, and it's beloved. Does it show its age? Yes. Stiff animation, the voice acting is good, not great at times. Um, Titus's laugh, I feel like, was intentionally uh, terrible, but uh, like comically bad. Um, but overall, the game is great. Great turn-based gameplay. The Sphere Grid is awesome. I love the Sphere Grid. And that battle theme. Man, that battle theme is awesome. 10-2 is the interesting one to talk about, as a lot of people vehemently detest Final Fantasy 10-2. I don't think it's as good as Final Fantasy X. I still think X2 is a solid, solid game. Do I think it's blow away? No. Narratively, it's not as compelling as FF10, but I still like the game and Yuna being at the helm of the story. I still thought it was enjoyable. For $9.99, I do think it's a good pickup, and I would say for both titles, I mean, just getting FF10 for $9.99 is great to get both. Definitely a solid shout. And lastly, we got Risk of Rain 2, 75% off for $6.24. An awesome action roguelike title, uh, incredibly challenging, damn near will make you uh, break a controller, but if you want to play a co-op as well, very enjoyable in that regard, but uh, art style is great, gameplay is really, really well done, and overall, just a solid game all around. So definitely check out Risk of Rain 2, especially if you can get some friends to pick it up. But that'll do it for me. Again, a lot of great deals available on the PlayStation Store right now. This is one of the better uh, sales we've seen as far as quantity of deals, so probably gonna have to go back and do another video, but check out the deals for yourself links to all of them in the description box below and if i had to you know mention a, uh, a couple that really stand out to me again yakuza like a dragon even if it's your first yakuza game you guys i don't think it's a bad shout uh and if you enjoy turn-based jrpgs guys it's great i know the yakuza franchise is a little bit daunting to get into but we need a gate we need to stop gatekeeping as far as oh you gotta play this one first you gotta play that one first you gotta play all six games before like a dragon like nah just if you want to get a turn-based JRPG that also does have a high-quality English voice acting, I do think Yakuza Like a Dragon is a good shout. Metro Saga Bundle is great. Detroit Become Human, Jedi Fallen Order. Just a lot of good stuff. Links to all of them in the description box below. That's going to do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.
Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.